Hi, I'm Jim. I visited the Philippines as a young sailor back in 1985, and wouldn't you know it, decades later, I learned of my Filipino daughter, Kathy, who sought me out and found me. Today, after recuperating from stroke and trauma, I'm embarking on a journey toward healing and finally meeting my daughter, Kathy, and her family in Guan, Eastern Samar, Philippines. I invite you to come along for the ride. Let's do this. Come on, let's go. Like, subscribe, and share. Hey everybody, it's early morning on a Friday and uh, I'm going for a walk. It'll be the first time I walk through that gate and going exploring. All right, the gate. Let's check this place out. I do have my trusty cane to help with my balance. Small gate. Ah. Here we go. All right. Go for a walk. Well, I walked out toward the airport. It was uh, pretty dead out there, so I turned around and uh, crossed back and headed into town. There, uh, I ate a couple eggs with uh, some Olympia and uh, talked to a few locals, had a good time. And uh, I'm walking back. I'll figure out the miles here in a little bit. But um, I, I noticed something crazy though. It's outside of the property. There's trash everywhere. Yeah, just outside the gate, alongside the road. There's, there's trash everywhere. I'm going to invest in some garden bags, trash bags, maybe 33 gallon bags and uh, start picking it up. That'd be my project. <laughs>
everybody. We just had a couple days of steady rain that's kept me inside, except for a quick wet foray to a local store near my near me. Uh, but today's a beautiful day, so I've got some, some stuff I'm gonna do. Um, first, I uh, wanna wash up. I got water heating up for coffee. After I wake up a little bit, um, I need to call my daughter in North Carolina. It's uh, I gotta make sure, you know, get she everything's okay down there, and I uh, got some questions about mail and taxes and stuff. And uh, but right now, brush my teeth, wash up. So, mm. Yeah, the only toothpaste I got here is Colgate. So this I got one more tube left in my bag. And my official Star Wars toothbrush. Speaking of teeth, next month, about a week from now. I'm gonna start my uh, my dental care. I see a dentist. Get my teeth cleaned. I've got a couple cavities I need to get fixed, and uh, take care of these two front teeth here. I don't know if you've noticed in some of my videos. I don't smile a lot because I've got two teeth here with broken caps. So it's darker right there. So when I smile, it was like it's kind of messed up. So I'm gonna get that fixed so I get my smile back. This is my good side though. I'm not showing you this side. All right, let's do this. Check the water. And look. There it is. Green light. Coffee's ready. And check out this cup. Uh huh. That was a gift the day I got here from my Filipino family. It's so cool. And so you got Nescafe Gold. And um, some honey. Instead of sugar. Let's go sit outside. Then I usually take my coffee outside. Oh, it's beautiful out here. Yes. <laughs> There's the uh, the cage. We put the tornado. My two year two year old grandson in. Time for me to head on downtown. 
go for a walk. Lots of bikes come through here. Ask if I need a ride. Oh, this side looks a whole lot better. Some trash did show up. I won't take but a second to pick it up. Look at this behind me. That looks much better. Further on, got more trash. Yeah. It's one thing I don't like is sticking my camera in the people's faces. Like you see a lot of vloggers do as they walk around like town or something. So I just kind of be nonchalant. If I talk to someone, I'll ask them if they like to be in my vlog. It's just rude to shove your camera in somebody's face. And not even ask or tell them anything about the vlog or anything like that. You know? So, let's see what happens. Yeah. This here is my watering hole, the Finn Cafe and Bar, also American Ribs and Wings. That's, it's like an oasis. At one time there was no electricity, but they had a generator running. I'll hit them back up on their way back. And they do have Wi-Fi, but you gotta buy a beer. But that's okay. Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> yeah. Here's the hypermart. Kind of like a mini version of a Walmart or department store. I'm stopping there on the way back toward the place, toward the bunker, and grab some items. 778, that's a hardware store. Let me pick up some gloves. Oh, there they are. Thank you. Ah. Pick Kathy up uh, some gloves. I have no idea what kind. I'll figure it out.
laundry. Drop off 195 kilos. Okay. I'm going to bring my laundry here sometime. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I'm good. Thank you. Just going for a walk. 